Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nilo and I hope you're all having a great day. Today's video is going to be something that is pretty crazy. Obviously the market has been doing some super insane things over the past week or so and today's video is basically going to be recapping some of that stuff, talking about why it happens and then talking about what the future might hold for these items and for the market as a whole. So strap in, we're going to be looking at this market explosion. Also just real quick before we begin, I wanted to apologize for the lack of uploads. I've been very busy right now in real life with moving and going to a a whole new place and everybody kind of knows how that is so hopefully you can forgive me for that but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a sponsor and then get into this video the sponsor for today's video is skinwallet.com they're a pretty brand new website with, with a lot of options to go ahead and sell your CSGO skins on their site for real money and they also are going to be able to have a marketplace on there that you can buy skins for cheaper than the Steam marketplace so if you want to go ahead and check out skinwallet.com be sure to use the link in the description below to go ahead and support the channel thanks by the way if you notice some echo in the background it's because my room is just obviously not really set up but I am getting soundproofing so hopefully that'll increase the mic quality for the video. So this market explosion, obviously a lot of stuff has risen exponentially over the past week or so, and that has caused a lot of people to do some pretty crazy things and make a lot of profit if they were in some of these items before they rose. There's been some theories floating around for why this market explosion happened. For example, TDM Jesus stated that it could potentially be a shortage of supply of skins and that the demand is outweighing that, which is causing skin prices to rise. And while I don't think that that is entirely untrue, I do think that that's part of it. I think that the overarching issue here is actually just manipulation, and there's a few reasons for that. I've been harping on this manipulation thing for a couple videos now, but I just want to go ahead and recap it one more time. Essentially, there's been this weird sort of thing that's happened over the past year or past two years where around the May or June kind of area, skin prices have kind of skyrocketed, starting with high tier items like Howl's and, you know, any other high tier item you can really think of, and then kind of trickling down into stickers, specifically the Dignitas Cologne 2014 Hollow. That one, for some reason, is just like the purveyor of the sticker manipulation slash hype that kind of happens. If you look at the graph for it last year, it rose up to to around $800 to $1,000 and then fell back down to around $400 or so. And almost like clockwork, that's pretty much the exact same thing that happened with the Dignitas Hollow this time around as well. Obviously, it was a little bit higher at a starting point than it was in the previous year because it already had been manipulated one time around and it found support at $400 instead of $200, but it still did rise to a very similar price and then most likely it will fall back and equalize somewhere around the $600 range, I would assume. Again, looking back at last year, after that Dignitas Hollow rise happens, a lot of the other stickers and similar items like Dignitas stickers tend to also rise quite a bit. If you look at the Dignitas Cologne 2016 sticker, that one also had a pretty nice increase last year around the same time. And then this time around also had a similar rise and we can probably expect it to go higher as well. I actually think that one's a little bit underpriced considering the manipulation tactic that happened last year. So why is this manipulation as opposed to a shortage of skins? Well, I do think that a shortage of skins is part of this. Obviously, there is skin prices rising pretty rapidly and a lot more money being spent on CSGO over the past few years, especially with China. But I do think, but I think that a lot of the examples that TD Mezus gave, like the SG Acid Fade, is more of just a normal market change that has happened because the item has gotten older and lower in quantity over time. But I do think that part of this increase in price has been the shortage that TD Mezus talked about. So I'm not saying that he's wrong, I'm just saying that maybe it's not the entire story. The main reason that I stick on this manipulation thing is because it's just way too targeted and way too specific. It just goes from high tier items like Howells and then down into the Diddy Toss Cologne 2014 sticker, and then it kind of trickles down into other stickers as hype swords of starts to spread into the sticker market. And it's just been a constant sort of thing that's happened, and we've seen it now two times. And I honestly think that that's just a little bit too organized and targeted to be considered just a simple shortage of skins. Furthermore, the fact that it's happened pretty much the exact same time both years is also extremely concerning, and I just simply think it's too organized. It's kind of like how people say that aliens are probably real because the universe is so infinite and large that it just has to be a thing that's true, even if we haven't really even talked to aliens directly yet. I know that's a weird example, but it's sort of the same kind of idea here. It's just too organized and specific to just be a simple market movement that's happening over the natural course of time. Now again, that's just my theory of how things are going. You don't have to agree with that. And really, honestly, even if it is a shortage or if it's just fully manipulation, either way, the market's really just moving in the same sort of pattern. So there's not really any sort of difference in your strategy that you should go about whether either theory is true. So speaking of your plan, let's talk about how you can put yourself in a good position for this upcoming market that's probably going to happen due to all of this manipulation or shortage or whatever might be. Firstly, I think a lot of the sticker calls that I made in my previous two videos are still going to reign true. Obviously, a lot of those have risen like crazy, and if you did invest into them in one of the previous videos, you probably would have made a crazy amount of money by now, but I do think that a lot of those stickers are still going to reign true. Cato 15 stickers actually saw sort of a normalization or an equalization recently on Buff at least, where they were all kind of lowering by around 20% or so, which I think is pretty healthy for them, and it shows that they have a really good, that shows that they have a really good quantity like usage point that they're going to be able to find some 
support at. So I don't think the Keto 15s are a bad move, it's definitely an option if you're looking into getting them. At this point I would sort of avoid the Dixon Dots Cologne 2014 Holo, it's definitely very high in price, and it could see an increase in price from this point as well, but I do think it's just going to equalize at this point. As sort of a recap on the Dig Holo, we saw it at 2000 RMB or so, and then it went ahead and spiked all the way up to 5700 plus RMB, it went a little bit higher than that as well, and right now it's a little bit normalized down to around 5200 RMB at the current moment. Which means if you bought it at 2000 RMB or even lower than you would have at this point made around 3500 RMB. Obviously the Dignitas paper also rose to a pretty crazy price, we saw it go up to around 300 RMB and it then normalized to around 164 currently. Overall my tips for this is just to watch the overall sticker market, a lot of stuff is starting to normalize and could find support at good prices, so potentially you could get in for a more long term investment in this case and I do think there is profit to be made here. A lot of cases have also been rising in price quite a lot recently, which honestly is just kind of a normal cycle for cases at this point. They all seem to have sort of a hype wave that'll come out where they all sort of rise whenever there's a discussion about the rare drop pool. And recently there was an update, which is actually the second topic I want to talk about, where there was a change to the non-prime matchmaking and item drop rewards, and there was also a change to potentially the rare drop pool for cases. This is a current list of all the cases and their status in terms of if they're in the red drop pool or if they're in the active pool. And as you can see, we have three main cases highlighted here being the Horizon, the Revolver, and the Chroma 3 case, which are currently up for debate on if one of them went to the red drop pool. The CS20 case is also being discussed a bit, but let's be honest, it's been being discussed for a very long time. Now, one or more of these cases could have gone to the red drop pool, and it is possible that multiple did, but I do think that the older case is going to be the one that probably went to red drop pool, if any, and so that's going to be the Revolver case. In terms of case investing, you're just going to have to see what happens in terms of prices for all of these and see which one potentially looks like it has a lower supply than the other ones being added onto the marketplace, and that one's most likely going to be the rare drop case. Now obviously we don't know exactly for sure at the current moment, and there is still of course discussion on it, but prices have been slowly steadily rising for these cases, and so I think there is potential for one of them being in the rare drop pool. I don't really have to rehash the whole idea on case investing, it's a fairly straightforward thing. Cases that go to red drop pool are going to rise in price, and cases that are more hyped and speculative are also going to rise in price, so just kind of stick with that same sort of idea. Cases are one of the most simplistic things in terms of investing, and also one of the most profitable, so definitely look out for that. That's pretty much going to be the update for the overall market in the last week or so, and if you guys did go ahead and watch my previous few videos here on the market exploding in high tiers and how this could be the second manipulation run that we saw like last year, you actually would have made a lot if you bought into some of the stickers I talked about. So really, that's going to wrap up everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I should be able to get on a pretty good upload schedule now that I'm less busy. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it to be sure to subscribe to the channel for the best investment tips anywhere else on youtube and of course be sure to check out skin wallets my discord server and my twitter account using the links in the description below thanks for watching guys see you next time peace